What's up, Blackish fam? I hope all is well in your corner of the world. Uh, man, really excited to get into something different. Uh, you know, I don't do a lot of J. Cole reactions, and I get a lot of people that message me and tell me about Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Jay-Z, Kanye, like commercial, more mainstream artists. And, you know, there's a few reasons for that. I used to be really into rap back in the day, um, but really just got kind of bored with it. It was the same old hip-hop, same old hip-hop. And it wasn't until a year or two ago I started really diving into the lyrics of the more uh, lyrically dense artists and finding some fun and re kind of reigniting that passion for hip-hop. And uh, J. Cole is one of those people I'm torn with. I love his lyrics. I love his intellect. But you kind of get bored after listening to it for so long, um, which is why I don't really react to J. Cole stuff. But uh, I saw an article, and it really just... Uh, kind of inspired me because it looks like he was he needed some inspiration and he went on youtube and they say he just um typed in j cole type b he took the first one that he saw and he started writing and he gave the rights to the music to this random producer on youtube uh so i thought i was like man that's mad respect and uh, j cole's one of those artists even though i didn't rock with all of his music uh, I can definitely appreciate where he's coming from and what he brings uh, to the industry. So uh, without further ado, I want to get into J. Cole. This is that track. It's called Procrastination, uh, which is definitely something I know something about. And it uh, looks like we got a lyric video here. Hopefully it's on point. I know dude was geek, geeked when he got the saw the response or saw the message come from Cole. Don't you dare run from it, there's no boogeyman, it ain't coming to hurt you, I think acceptance is somewhat of a virtue, to look your truth dead in the face without trying to escape the regret or disgrace, I write these words aimlessly, but not without hope that somehow I'll stumble on something that... See again, it's good hip hop and it's written very well, but it's, it's almost something like his monotone voice or so that the energy just isn't there with a lot of his stuff, I can vibe for one or two tracks... But I can't let it let it ride without being like, all right, get to the next one. Uh, but let's listen to this. That's dope, a clever little line, a thought to provoke myself in that listener digging for quotes. Hello. <laughs> I don't even know if somebody gonna hear this. Got so many songs, they get lost in the endless folders of the hard drive. I wish I was more fearless. Cause I just say fuck it and dump all the music for niggas that hate it and niggas that use it as fuel to push them through long nights at school, writing that last minute paper for class that's going <laughs> and I still relate to that procrastination for tasks. Cause I need to finish this album. But yeah, I think it's been at this point, it's been at least two years since we got a new album from Cole. Um, you know, and it, it, he's at the height. I don't know if he's at the peak of, of the hip-hop game, but he's definitely up there in most people's top three, top five, I would think. Um, uh, it's you know really interesting to hear uh, rap, and I wonder how he feels about rapping now versus when he first started, because some of his old freestyles, the energy is there. And I wonder if he needs something to kind of reignite his passion. Hell, how many more times can I sit in this wooden pail down in that well and pull it back up with the hope that it's filled? Plus, it don't help that I'm rich now, so that means that I don't got a deal with stress. <laughs> it's calling my cellular like that young rapper that don't got a deal, but do got Ooh. the skill and do got the wit. I love how he referenced that, right? It's very different for him. He, he talked what we were just talking about, right? Uh, he said, uh, you know, how, how many times can he send a wooden pill down the well and think he's going to still pull it up uh, with the hope that it's filled? Like, how many times can I continue to do this? Um, and they, I, I like how he speaks about his disconnect with your everyday average Joe, right? Uh, he is a multimillionaire at this point, and I'm sure he's also educated, right? He has his bachelor's degree. Um, he's been in, like, the African Basketball League and owns part of a team and has different investments in the world. And I wonder if that's um, uh, just causing that riff, right, where he doesn't feel like he's connecting uh, with the audience that helped lift him. Bill to make it no matter how long that it takes for labels to see or a song that are breaking the rest of the world to catch on that he's great. Uh. 
How do you tap in the hunger when you don't got wonder about where your next meal is coming from? <laughs> Damn. He's saying exactly what we just said, right? How do you tap into the hunger that you once had, right? How do you tap into that? That You ever listen to, to, to an artist, their early songs, before they got out there, and it's like, woo, he's snapping, right? It's like sometimes you get these artists, like I've been really uh, on a wave uh, uh, rocking with Coast Contra. I heard their Never Freestyle. And these, these boys are hungry, right? They're going at it. Their wordplay, the bars, their writing is exceptional. Um, you know, sometimes some cats get money and uh, slowly they, they start dealing with these ghost writers and it just it just becomes dull, right? Even the mainstream artists, you listen to uh, Drake uh, or somebody like that now and it's just a lot of, oh boy, what do I do? I'm rich, I'm fucking hoes, I'm doing blow, I'm doing this. And it's like, yeah, but well, you listen to some of early Drake stuff and there's just a lot more substance to the rhyme. Maybe you feel my conundrum, or maybe the real is I'm so um far removed from the struggles of everyday folks. My shit just ain't never gonna hit like it hit when a nigga was a little more closer to broke. Ooh. Uh, but fuck it, the challenge be having me stoked. Throwing the talent, you gotta be joking. I push my salary up with these quotes. Now. I push the Lambo truck down in the veil, hoping Ooh. I connect with something that's real. Part of me wonders why I'm even still, still, uh, holding on to this place. My mama been gone and my partners are straight. Yeah, he's put everybody on that needed to be put on. Why do you still return to the scene, right? Uh, there's some connection that he feels uh, with the Ville, right? Yo, sick. Is there another verse? I think he's done here. Just, just sick, but even more so, I like what this represents, that uh, it's kind of helping out the underdog, right? Remembering that um, there's something that he's missing. There's a lot of cats out there that still have it. Uh, my recommendation would be doing uh, features with kind of up-and-coming artists and helping to put them on, right? Or each one teach one. But, yo, I, I definitely like the flow. Um, it has nothing to do, again, my criticism is not against J. Cole as an artist, it's just that some of the, the rhyme schemes and the wordplay, even though it's sick at first, um, I wish he was bringing more energy to the table. Uh, but, yo, I don't mind. Let's get into some more of uh, J. Cole's stuff. We've done a, uh, an intense breakdown, an intellectual breakdown, as we call it, on some of his earlier music. Uh, it would be nice to kind of pick a few out of the catalog. Let me know if there's anything that you guys recommend that you think is more on a deeper level um, that might be worth a good breakdown. Look forward to it. We'll see you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the intellectual breakdowns that we do with the more lyrically dense artists. Um, we'll see you on the next video.